Republican governor, uh, Repu uh, Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said last week that he would seek to repeal the First Step Act, a major criminal justice reform bill signed into law by former President Donald Trump in 2018 if he is elected president. I, I mean, this dude, ah, this guy. DeSantis's comments in an interview with the Daily Wire published last Friday seemed like a part of the campaign strategy to paint Trump who often muses about executing drug dealers and jokes about police brutality as soft on crime. Hmm. Oh, God. Man, I, I mean, I'm just going to continue to in deeply enjoy watching this man get embarrassed because this is just ridiculous. Quote, under the Trump administration, he enacted a bill basically a jailbreak bill. It's called the First Step Act. It has allowed dangerous people out of prison who have now reoffended and really, really hurt a number of people, DeSantis said. So one of the things I would want to do as president is go to Congress and seek the repeal of the First Step Act, DeSantis continued. If you are in jail, you should serve your time. And the idea that they're releasing people who have not been rehabilitated early so that they can prey on people in our society is a huge, huge mistake. In reality, the First Step Act was a large but modest bill. Yes, and I mean, again, it, it, DeSantis' description of that bill is, is insane. You know, and again, the very idea, the idea that we can't talk about um, the idea that there's no debate to be had about um, reducing sentences or, you know, eliminating sentences is, I mean, the, uh, aren't conservatives the ones always complaining about people not being uh, open and the left not being willing to debate ideas? You know, they want to debate things like, you know, like is, is climate change real and, and like eugenics and stuff like that. Like they want to debate stuff like that but they don't want to debate sentencing times. And Donald Trump, who is by far and away dominating the primary race, signed this into law. You talking about taking it away. And his, his, and his base of support grows ever smaller. He's so bad at this. Among its many provisions, it expanded reentry and job training opportunities for federal inmates, banned the shackling of preg pregnant prisoners, and require people who are incarcerated to be housed within 500 miles of their families when possible. <laughs> you want to take this away? Like, with <clears throat> okay, so what if somebody does serve their time? It, it, you know, let's not even discuss if they were in prison for too long for something that was nonviolent, okay? Let's say someone did serve their time. You, you, what are they supposed to do? You you don't want to expand their job training opportunities? Well, then they're going to be right back in prison. More likely than not. It also included four changes to federal sentencing law that reduced some mandatory minimum sentences, expanded judges' discretion under the so-called safety valve, and made reductions to crack cocaine sentences under the Fair Sentencing Act of 2010 apply retroactively to current inmates. We're just going to scrap all of this. <laughs> oh man, I really don't like this dude. Like I like it at first. At first, it was just kind of like you know. I mean, obviously, it's still funny to make to just poke fun at this guy. But the more and more I see him, the more I I, I just I don't like this dude. And that's that's not really necessarily easy because. <clears throat> Like, I don't like when it comes to Donald Trump, like, I don't feel like, like, I don't really care about him, to tell you the truth. Like, it's kind of like, oh, whatever. But Ron DeSantis, like, I don't, I don't like, I, uh, I just, I don't like this dude. And neither does anyone else. All right. <laughs> this. Still, when Congress passed it by why bipartisan margins in 2018, the First Step Act was the most sweeping criminal justice reform legislation to pass Congress in recent memory. The culmination of years of work by a group of bipartisan lawmakers in Congress and the coalition of progressive and conservative ad advocacy groups. And then, too, you've got to keep in mind that, um, 
you know, like when it comes to people like libertarians, like a lot of their views in terms of like substance use and people being thrown in jail for, for doing using drugs are pretty very much in line with progressive views and left wing views. You know, so again, this does this alienates not only does this alienate black voters, Latino voters, um, obviously anybody who is an evangelical and white, but this also alienates libertarian white libertarian votes, you know, like, you know, see something like this and be like, nah. The uh, DeSantis's comments are a thumb in the eye of the many Republicans who worked on the legislation, such as former Georgia Republican Doug Collins author of the House version of the First Step Act, who noted that DeSantis voted for an earlier version of the bill. <clears throat> Americans want stronger economies and safer communities, Collins said in a statement following DeSantis's comments. The First Step Act delivers both those priorities. The program's proven low recidiv uh, recidivism rates are making us safer. And having more people in the workforce is bolstering the economy. I'm proud to have been a part of its design and passage alongside the vast majority of Republicans in both chambers including then Congressman Ron DeSantis. Oh, so Ron DeSantis was in support. Okay, so then, so Ron DeSantis is trying his hardest to pander and, and he's not even doing that well. <laughs> oh man, I'm proud to continue uh, to work towards a more effective justice system across the country. The Justice Department's 2022 annual report on the First Step Act found that of the 9,791 people released early under the various provisions of the First Step Act, roughly 16%, 1,557 were rearrested. But that is significantly lower than the federal prison system's overall recidivism rate. According to the Bureau of Prisons website, the overall recidivism rate as defined by a rearrest or return to any jurisdiction's custody is around 43%. Okay, so normally it's around 43%. And the mo and again, they 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 pointed that out that the First Step Act is it is a modest bill. It, it is. Um, you know, modest enough for a lot of libertarian Republicans to have worked on it. Cause like I said, like that that this alienates a a, a decent chunk of the Republican base as well. Um so again, six, a 16% recidivism rate versus a 43% recidivism rate is a major difference. And it's just the attitude is like, oh, well, there was, the, unless we have zero, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, unless we have 0% of the people who were uh, released go back to prison for whatever reason, then let's just get rid of the whole thing. The bill was far from a jailbreak. The provisions leading to early release were fixes to technical issues or sentences that nearly everyone agreed were overly punitive. <laughs> this dude, Ron DeSantis, is, is, is unbelievable, man. Okay, so we'll go over a couple more of these provisions. Let's go over a couple more of the provisions. <clears throat> the first step back forced the Federal Bureau of Prisons, the BOP. It forced the BOP. My bad, I got a text. To change the way it calculates the amount of good time credits inmates can earn through good behavior to shave days off their sentence, as I explained when Tucker Carlson made similar hyperbolic claims back in 2019. Okay, so again, it, it allows for people to shave off a little bit more time. Well, let's take that away. Let's just get rid of that. Even if they're being good, even if they are showing that, they, that they've be, been rehabilitated in some way, you know. Well, then if you're so concerned about rehabilitation, then why don't you make our system more uh, rehabilitative? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you make it more... Uh, open so that uh people can come out better but no of course he's he's not concerned about that <sighs> the fair sentencing act reduced okay so this, so he want to go after this thousands of federal inmates also had their sentences retroactively reduced uh by a part of the first step back that retroactively applied the fair sentencing act of 2010 
which changed the crack uh, and powder cocaine uh, disparity from 100 to 1 to 18 to 1, which is still stupid, but I mean, 18 to 100 is quite a dip down. I mean, 100 to 18, rather. The legislation also empowered judges to review federal inmates' petitions for compassionate release. You won't take that away from people. A policy that allows terminally ill inmates the mercy of spending their final days at home. Ah, this guy is, this dude, Ron DeSantis, is just, 